morning. Do you want a paper copy? Did you get one? Are you sure? Do you want a paper copy? You took one? Okay. Oh, you will take one. I'm sorry. I, people were like coming in and out like as I was passing them. No, that we're going to share across the table. Victor, do you want a paper copy? Nope, this one. Would you like a paper copy? Okay. Huh? Um, after you do the assessment on the computers, this is the questions that you're going to answer. So you're going to hand in the report and this paper. Does that make sense? Okay. Well, and we'll go over that. Okay, I think I got everybody. Good morning online. Okay, so everybody that wanted a paper copy of the assignment, you got it. We have a few stragglers. Y'all, it should be easier to get up earlier, not harder, man. Would you like a paper copy of the assignment? There you go. That way you don't have to download it. Shovel maker. You want a paper copy of the assignment? You all guys want a paper copy? Okay. There you go. Okay. Let's get started. There's still more coming in. Y'all, I try to even embarrass them and that doesn't even work. I'm just kidding. You don't have to tell me, go ahead. You're an adult. Do you want paper copy of the assignment? So you don't have to print it out. That's just a paper copy of the assignment. So you don't have to print it out. Huh? Melvin, where are you at right now? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So if you guys forgot, Laptops today and books, if possible. If not, that's okay. We'll talk about that in a minute. So what I handed out in class in person was the number one, and all of this is attached in the e-learning. Let me show you where. Maybe. There we go. So if you go under coursework, and strengths assessment, okay. Everything I handed out today in class is here. The first thing I handed out is this Clifton Strengths themes. So there should be like one per table. You're really not gonna need to take this. If you wanna take it, go for it. It is online. So what this is gonna be is all of the 32 strengths and like two sentences about what they mean. So this is like the quick guide and the quick version to see what your top five actually mean, okay? Like I said, there's like one per table, take it if you need it. If not, it's online. You don't really need to hand anything in off of this. It was just kind of for reference, okay? The second thing I, I handed out is the thinking about your signature themes. Now, this is what the assignment is going to be, okay? You're gonna answer the questions on the front. Okay. If you guys want to write on this and scan it, that's okay. And a good question was brought up by Ms. Mary. You don't have to have the follow me printing set up on your machine to scan. You use your ID, scan, hit the scanner button. It'll ask you, do you want it emailed to you or do you want, to, do you want it dumped in your Google Drive? Okay. And then you can access the PDF of the scan file. Okay. Just a reminder, the very first time you badge into the scanner, you are gonna have to log in with your Carolina University email and password. 
Well, once you do it once, that's all that's required, okay? If you do scan this, you really only need the front page to scan, sorry, okay? But we are doing the top portion of the back page. So page two, you're gonna answer one, two, three questions, and we're going to do this getting started with your signature themes, okay? Since the PDF is not edit editable, if you, would, if you wanna answer these three questions in a Word document and upload that, that's fine. Just make sure you say the answer to question one so that I know where your answers are. Make sense? Okay, feel free to do that. But part two here is going to be based on the, whatever you get out of the assessment, okay? So one of your reports is that you're gonna get something called a your signature theme report. And I'm gonna go through how to find all these reports in a second, okay? What it wants you to do is grab a highlighter and as you read each one of your strengths is gonna have a paragraph, which is a lot more than what's on that, that quick sheet, okay? Highlight the words and the descriptions that really match your personality, okay? So for example, mine says realtor describes your attitude towards relationships. Okay, to me, I'm not really sure what that means. So in simple terms, the realtor theme pulls you towards people you already know. Yep, that's me. I'm a lot more open in my group of friends than I am in a group where I don't know anybody. Yeah, so that kind of speaks to me. You do not necessarily shy away from meeting new people. In fact, you may have other themes that cause you to enjoy the thrill of turning strangers into friends, but you do derive a great deal of pleasure and strength from being around your closer friends. That to me is completely true, okay? I am that type of person that has like a very small knit, small group of close knit friends, but I'm like acquaintances to like everybody in the world, right? So that, I think that describes my personality, so I would highlight that, okay? So you're gonna go through all five of those and highlight, okay? The report you're getting is going to be a PDF. If you know how to highlight a PDF, feel free to do it that way, okay? Adobe Reader allows you to highlight in a PDF in the Windows world, and I believe in a Mac you can just do it anyway. Does anybody, Mac people? Anybody know how to highlight? You can highlight, because I think you can just highlight, right? It's not like a production like it is for windows okay if you want to take a physical highlighter and highlight this feel free and then scan it and submit it that's fine as well i'm okay with photos as long as i can read kind of what's going on okay so make sure you look at your photos before you submit them make sure they're clear because i only have the paragraphs to these five okay and you're only going to have the, the paragraphs for your five so i want to see what's going to speak to you Okay, if you find something that you think needs an additional explanation on yours, go ahead and write it in. You're gonna kind of annotate this. You know, underline, use red pen, whatever. Like I might actually underline like close friendships, even though I've highlighted the whole sentence, you know, things like that. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. So what you're gonna hand in is this, your signature theme report and the answer to the first three questions on this. So three questions and then your report highlighted. Make sense? Okay. If at any time you get confused or you have questions, please shoot me an email and ask me. Cool? Okay. When do you get finished? with your assessment, which we're gonna to do today in class, because I'll be here to help. You're gonna get something that looks very similar to what's on the screen now. Now what's on the screen is mine, okay? But you're gonna be given your top five, and then of course you can pay to get the whole thing, but we don't care about those, right? I don't. If you do, that's fine, that's up to you, it's not required, okay? It's going to break up your five into executing, influencing, relationship building, and strategic thinking, okay? And it's gonna actually tell you one, two, three, four, five. See how my boxes have numbers in them? So my number one is that realtor, which is under relationship building. 
My number two is under strategic thinking, which is learner, which makes sense to me. My third is individualization and analytical. So my top five are primarily within that relationship and strategic thinking portion, okay? My last one, bringing up the rear is in the executing. And apparently I don't influence anybody, but that's fine, okay? But that's just my natural strengths, make sense? Okay, what you're going to want to do, if you click down here, it says view my reports, okay? Signature theme report, that's the one that we wanna see, okay? That's the one that we're gonna download your signature theme report. Feel free to look at any of them and download any of the others. I would stay within the free ones. See here, there's like an insights guide, but these are all personalized. So when I download that, it is specific to me, okay? Does that make sense? Any questions on where to find what to download? Okay, it's on the screen here, view my reports. Make sense? Yeah? Questions, comments, concerns, anything about anything we've done so far? No, pretty easy peasy, right? Yeah, how do I get where? Where I'm at? So the question was, how do I get here? Once you're done with the assessment, this is the screen they're gonna take you to, okay? to show you your results. So it'll probably say something like view results and it should take you here. Now, because you've made a login, this is gonna be available to you pretty much forever. Okay, because I took this back in March, I believe. And I still have access to this, okay? It's under, I think, reports, where did I go? If you log in, Yeah, see, I went over here, view your Clifton Strengths reports, and it took me here. Okay, so if you need to go back like tomorrow or another day to print it out because you've either lost it or can't find it, you can log into the Gallup, go under Strength Reports, and it'll take you right back here. And it's in the same place. View my reports, all the way down at the bottom, signature theme. Okay. But like I said, you can come up here, view all reports. It's gonna take you to the same place. There's also some different things. You can create a certificate that says, look, I did this. These are my five. You can print that for yourself, put it on your wall, keep it for reference, okay? There's a lot of different things you can do, but all I'm requiring is that signature theme report. Okay, it is the smallest of the reports. It should only be like, I think I have two pages front and back. So like three pages, it shouldn't be very, very long. Now, some of them can get to be like 15 and 20 pages. Okay, just make sure you have the one that's like two pages front and back. It's so like four pages max. Sound good? Y'all can come in. Come on in. Questions, comments, concerns. The test can only be taken once. Yes, you can only take the test once with your code, okay? And remember, go with your gut instinct, your first initial reaction, don't overthink it. It's kind of like one of those like Buzzfeed quizzes, you know, where like you can probably pick like 40 different things, but you need to go with like your gut instinct. Because this is showing us our natural tendencies, right? You guys are so asleep. I even opened the coffee bar for you all. I'm just kidding. Okay. Anyone ready? Everyone ready? I'm going to, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually stop the recording now. I'm going to leave the Zoom up for those online. And if there's questions, you can go ahead and ask. And I'll be wandering around the classroom also to ask, to answer questions. But I will probably turn my mic off because you guys don't all want to hear me if I'm answering one person's question. Okay. Everybody ready? Y'all got this. Okay. Go for it. We have another like an hour to go ahead and
do what? The, uh, the code is in the back of the book. Yes, 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 yes. That's what I was talking about this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you kind of need to do the assessment before you do that paper. So you're just done. <laughs> All we turn is the signature theme report and the three questions. Allie, yes, that's exactly. No, you don't have to stay on Zoom to take the test, but I will be here for questions. I see hands up. I'm coming around. Hold on. <laughs> 